Let's see if I have any new comments today. Hmm. Oh, look. Awesome video, Broski. You got a weird beard, though? Like a wig? What? Well, Dres, are you happy now? Baby face. Oh, eat your asses up and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are talking about the M13. This is going to be our next uh, class setup video. Um, I just wanted to give Dre's a little uh, a little flack there. I just teasing him a little bit. I didn't actually shave because of him. Uh, work is actually uh, making me shave for uh, some uh, respirator uh, fitting. I have to do for the next couple months so uh so i have to shave and become all baby face until they can fit that for me and uh and yeah get that done with but yeah anyways guys we are going to talk about the m13 today um the best class setup that i use that i actually um uh have been using for, for quite some time oh, yeah, that was awesome. <clears throat> this is the uh M13, uh, it was quickly one of my favorite guns when I first started playing, but uh, it actually slowly not became not my favorite. Um, this this gun's not bad, but uh, it's just not it's just not the kind of uh, uh, gun I was wanting it to be. So it's a five to six shot kill, pretty much anywhere. If you get like all headshots, you can reduce that to a four shot kill, but. The likelihood of that happening is, you know, kind of slim. <clears throat> so the M13 uh, has the highest fire rate of of all the assault rifles, I believe, um, which does give it the the benefit of you're able to miss a couple more shots uh, with the gun, with, with it still being valuable. But the recoil is still uh, is learnable. The the recoil is learnable. It's not the worst. I've ever had or anything like that. It, it'll kick up about four shots and then it'll just hard right. So as long as you know it's going there, you're you're okay, I think. But w with the recoil being as strong as it is, and it only being a five to, to six, six shot kill, um, rather than like the the usual like two to three that that you you'll see from like the M4 or anything like that, it is a pretty difficult weapon to uh to be good with just because of the li the limitations that it gives you uh, so i wouldn't say it's like a really good weapon but i wouldn't say it's a horrible way you can still use it. it it'll just be a little difficult oh dude i thought i killed that last guy see right there i'm just not like it's so weird not killing him in like two or three shots you know but with that being said we do uh we do have this class right here which is actually a pretty good class I thought I just did that to myself like that. So first off, we do have the Tempest Marksman as the barrel, which is going to increase your range pretty dramatically. You're looking at about a 33% a, a increase into your damage range. So that five shot kill will be extended as far as it can without, without sacrificing too much uh, movement speed or aim down sight speed. Next up for me is I do need a, a sight, uh, so I, I would probably run the uh, the Cronin Mini Reflex. That's just my preferred sight. It feels the most comfortable to me. Um, and then, oh, you scared the the Jesus out of me. Then next, I would have the uh, the the Skeleton Stock. So the Skeleton Stock is a very interesting one because it gives you so many bonuses. I want to know how I didn't kill that guy. Got revenge. He must have fallen. <laughs> wow. Kind of weird. Uh... I suck. Okay. The the M13 uh, skeleton stock is seriously uh, like a, a super OP attachment. So uh, it actually increases your your movement speed by about 11 and a half percent, which brings you over that 100% mark. So you actually run faster with this weapon, uh, with that attachment, um, than you would with just like a normal, uh, or even like a, a cut combat knife. If you had anything else in your hand, you'd be slower. <clears throat> so it, to to kind of go with that fast paced style with, with keeping the damage range, you still want to be able to have that, that M13 stock. It will help you with the aim down side speed as well. Uh, then the next one, it does go through ammo like crazy. So, 
so you gotta, gotta prepare for that with a 50 round mag if you can and then for that final attachment we're gonna use the uh the simple drip tape uh just to keep with the trend of of having that fast paced style so what once again not a horrible weapon uh if, if you do want to go get gold for it it's not tremendously difficult uh you just have to learn the recoil and uh it, it, it won't be too bad although in, in a competitive environment if you are wanting to uh do well i would not suggest using this over over like the m4 you know um you can make a pretty fast paced or an even more fast paced uh class with this if you put on the tempest mini it doesn't uh affect the recoil as much as it says it does oh but also for the attachments since you since you do go through ammo a lot for that first slot, uh perk slot outrun the uh the the scavenger perk just uh just because it is meant for those longer streaks this class is and then obviously for the perk two i would have uh ghost easiest one and then perk three you can kind of go back and forth i usually go between uh, battle hardened or uh shrapnel just so i can have that s second piece of lethal equipment uh but yeah that is the class setup for you guys i hope you did enjoy uh if you if you do like the class or if you have another gun you'd like to see a class setup for let me know down in the comments below and with that being said i'm out peace